My name is Insane Raven. We're at a Vortex Club party, and this is Life is Strange. No, we're not at a Vortex Club party. Everything I know is wrong. Um, welcome to Life is Strange. I know what you're thinking. Um, I have a little time before Mr. Jeff. What up class, so with a another video? We already had our videos before the week. The Vortex Club party. And I'd agree. I I have this How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? Um, I guess we all should these days. And I'd agree with you, except for one thing. Um, was so insane. Seriously. I'm pretty sure I messed up this week's schedule completely. Excuse me, Mr. Um, Madsen. I have to talk to him about that. And, uh, room. was that really your reefer? What did I put last time? I don't remember. I'm gonna say no. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Matt? Oh, yeah, I think I said that. That's what I said. Even I'm not that much um, an asshole. And I am but, sorry uh, about yesterday. This is either I'm wrong, but upset. I catch up. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. This is either You're a catch up for last better. week or She's a. She's a threat to you. Um, care bonus her, episode care for screwing up age, last week's schedule. I raised a lot more hell. Um, She's better than that. So all you kids are. Ta-da! So is Kate Marsh. Uh, she Kate bad. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance. But, um, it will take more than so Ms. Yeah. Grant and her uh, position. Things are interesting right now. Students. Isn't that your responsibility if, um, as head of security? Unless you know something I'm talking about over this because we've already heard office. all this, so it's not like it's anything new anymore. or groundbreaking. I don't want to fight but, with um, anyone anymore. That's all. If I'm, if I'm right, we should be coming towards the end of... Uh, it's gonna close my eyes. What is that? Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Wub wub. Luke is always using wub wub. as a shield to avoid. Wub wub. Wub wub. Give me the wub wub. Reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Wait, score some more from who? Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. You know what help, bro? Um. Please, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. This right? Yeah, science. I want to see this fool. I, I want to take a picture of the fool. Bring me the brain. <laughs> think. Think. Um. I want to look around and see if I can take any pictures of stuff. Oh, hi, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? The drone. This can't be that How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. <laughs> She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. Oh, well, you. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. That's creepy. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. Bye. So long. Um, there's a trophy around here. Skeleton. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Love you, Max. But that's more, but creepy. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. Same thing with me. Either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide. Dr. Max? Uh, I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. 
If this works, you get a free hug. I want to be ready for the poke trip. Weird science. That didn't work. Hey, War. Skip. Maxwell, so skip. Asking skip. Have to skip. Lots of potassium. I That's actually think we should use a lot of potassium. <coughs> I mean, a shitload. Yeah, a shitload See? on that. Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But, let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Okay. I swear there's a trophy to this, so I'm going back. Hey, Warren. Hey. What if we go back and we hit sodium? I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. On the picture. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Okay. Uh, I thought I was gonna get a trophy there, but I guess not. Aquarium! I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. I'm good. Wait, can I touch it? Touch. Or nothing will happen at all. I tried. Da Vinci was a boss. And it's raining outside. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Not sure that's true, but okay. Periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. I just wish I knew what how it relates to science. Like, doesn't it have to do with time or something? Should be a trophy around here. So. Hey, Warren. Have daddy. I actually. No, 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 no. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Have that. I actually think. Stop pushing that button! Hey, War. Ask. I actually think you should use a. See? She blinded me with science. I want the picture. I'll come back and do it on a trophy hunt. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Kate, let's talk. Kate. Stop! Don't come near me! No, that's not how I do things, Kate. Stop. Please, leave me alone. Gates! I just don't trust that. I really don't trust that. 
These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I don't know if I can trust him. I really don't know if I can trust him. Never mind. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video. Kate's freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I don't trust him. I mean... No. I just don't want Kate Marsh to be the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Ugh. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse Wait, me, so Matt... The chief of... Hello. Yes? The chief of security uh, said I'm... Hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Wait, are you serious? I'm a... <laughs> what in the chief says I'm a pot dealer now? Mm hmm? All right, can okay. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. Then That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. And kind of creepy. Show me the love. Like Daniel is always on the outside looking in. Photo trophy, photo trophy. Don't be pissed. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Easy, honest. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he give. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. I really didn't. This is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Ugh, I hate all of them. Yep. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. What's going on now? Uh, this, this might be a really laid back Kate. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Um, can I get up? No, that that's not that's not okay. I have to get up. Let, let me get up. What are you doing, Warren? Let me get up. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I didn't say you could I come saw here. Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. 
Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> not feeling good. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. What do you think? Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. I didn't get a chance to read it. <laughs> Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. Victoria! I can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Right, sir. You read the syllabus. This like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. The book? That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images shit. are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. I, I don't have a... Dismissed. You're a cool guy and all, but you were losing that one. It's Kate. I know it is. Is this for real? It's flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. It's Kate. It's it has to be Kate. Kate! Oh my No! No, okay, Kate! Oh god! No! She can't die! She can't! Not Kate! Him. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh my god. Okay. What do we do? What do we... What's going on? As much as this is beautiful, this is freaking me out. Can't move things out of the way either. Why is it less than one holding on to each other? I have to get up to the dorm. That's the answer. I have to. Holy crap. Yes. doing here Max stop don't come near me not now it won't work I don't have any power now I have to do this by myself oh crap Max, seriously don't come near me I will jump okay okay I'm right here Kate please oh Max I know you want to help me I love that you stepped up to David but it doesn't matter now nothing matters no you matter. You matter, and not just to me. 
I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this oh together. Oh my god. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. I'm here for you. I will always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is, friends come first. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always oh. you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Uh. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Gathering proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing blood. And I can't go back in time! You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Everybody will forget. I think. Because uh, everyone will forget. Nobody cares, Kate. No! Oh! Another viral Victoria video in a day, and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered. No, 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 no. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Your father. She was the only one that wasn't a douche. Your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See? You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Mm -hmm. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh, did you fuck? You fuck? You fuck? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Proverbs. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoer. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. This is no. This is the answer. No. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before- You're not gonna do anything! Before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As Why do you care? Man, You're not going to do anything! I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. 
What happened to happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge? Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Uh, there's no way this is good. Nothing I do in this moment is gonna be good. Nothing! Not a single thing! All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. I want Careful, you Mr. Done. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged- You didn't incident, do anything! And I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until- Don't you just suspend him, expel him! See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them. No, I don't need a break. I'm willing to take him to the ground! They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. No, you're I not, you lying piece of shit! All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but... I think I can use my power again. I know this is gonna bring me trouble. I know that. I don't care, okay? Kate was innocent, and she's dead because of this douche. Because of this Anytime, person. Max. It's so nice to hang out here in this office. Because of him! Well, I think we know less now than when we started. Huh? Be assisting the police what? In further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. Only reason why I said anything I is I not because of you, it's because of the cop right the there. Bar. You're so bloody so useless! I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Why yeah, was that? It made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. There really it is. Proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. 
along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. <sighs> Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. That was interesting. But see, my question is, how is this all gonna get away? How is this all gonna play out? I have a feeling Jefferson is gonna be blamed. I really do. Am I even surprised? Am I even bloody surprised that that's a thing? You can tell Ugh. See, the only thing I'm, act I'm really curious about, like extremely curious about, is this guy. How does he fit into the story? I mean, I get that Chloe owes him, owes him money, but how does he fit into it all? That's the one piece I don't get. Oh, such BS! As much as I don't trust Chloe as someone being reliable and mentally capable, okay, that's interesting. So we're not just looking at kidnappings now. So we're no longer just looking at kidnappings. It's not that simple. Oh, is all the music wasted matters? Well, that's the case. I'm good. Like I'm happy with that. But that is so frustrating. Like, there's nothing we could have done for Kate. There's not a single thing we could have done for Kate. And that, oh. Like, I feel bad for Kate. I really do. Because none of this was because of her. None of it. It was all because. As much as I don't want to say it was all because of one person, it was. It was.
was all because of Nathan and Victoria. It's all because of the Vortex Club. So now, I'm curious, how do we take them down? I'm, I'm honestly curious, how do we take them down? Because it's not a simple, um, oh, it was this person, oh, it was this person. No, it's... And the fact that this episode, um, local natives, Mount Washington. Write that down, guys. Because... I couldn't save her. I was uh, looking at the Game Informer review of this episode and it gave it a 6.5. I don't agree with that. Um, was the first episode better? Yes. But this episode... The first episode established the world. This episode establishes the story. And the third episode, fourth and fifth, is gonna take us there. Um, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Because... I know that my decision, the rat Nate, I was gonna get me in trouble. I know that, but nothing is gonna happen to him. Not a single thing. Nothing, and unless we can we can connect uh, Victoria into it, nothing's gonna happen to her either. And as far as we know, I don't. We don't, we we can't time travel anymore. I'm so upset. I really am upset. So many emotions. Like, as angry as I am, I am sad. I know. It wasn't right. None of what happened should have happened. Rest in peace, Kate Marsh. You deserve it. Rest in peace. I'm going to avenge her. I don't even know if I can time travel anymore, but every anything that I can do, I'm going to time I'm going to adventure. I have to. And this was such a chill episode too. I mean Except for this episode, except for, um... <coughs> what happened here and with, uh, the train, it was really a chill episode. It's hard to believe that, um... You know, we woke up this morning to a bunny. I have a feeling that Jefferson, Mr. Jefferson's gonna come under fire. Davidson's gonna come under fire. 
I think everyone's gonna get screwed by this, except for Nathan. Except for the people who deserve to be screwed. And that just eats me up inside. They really do. Make this right. I could save Kate. No. I could have saved Kate. No. I could have saved Kate. Oh. Okay, this isn't. Yeah, no one's gonna play Jefferson. Oh shit. That's gonna be intense. I wanna know. Um... Okay. Here is the out of time stuff. Uh... You water your plants. I helped Alyssa. We erased the link to Kate's video. We were friendly with Taylor. Ooh, that's an interesting 50-50 split. Um, I rejected Warren's inv invite. I didn't write a message. I could write a message? I didn't know that. Um, I didn't tamper with the railroad, with the rail tracks. Didn't know that either. I don't want engines to the Vortex Club, Vortex Club party, so I think we're good. Um. I didn't help Warren even though I did, and I didn't tell him David to Jefferson. Um, this was just an intense episode. Um, thank you, life. Thank you, life is strange. I'm just, I'm emotionally bruised. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. This has been Insane Raven.